Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use operators in less. Operators allow you to perform basic addition on certain CSS attributes. So over here in my web browser, you'll notice that I have this little website set up. And imagine that when I was styling this website, I wanted the size of the paragraph text to be twice as small as the size of this button text. So in other words, I wanted the button, I wanted the text inside of the button to be twice as big as the text in the paragraph. Well, I could use less operators to do something just like that. I can come over here to my style.less file, and in here I'm gonna define a variable. We'll just call it base size. And we'll set this variable equal to 20 pixels. So that'll be like the base uh, font size. And we're gonna define the font size for the paragraph on my website and we'll make it that base size. And then I can come down here and I want to define the size for that button text. So I'll just make this button. And again, we'll give this a font size. So we'll make it base size. And if I want this to be twice as big as that paragraph text, I can actually just multiply this by two. So this is an example of using a less operator, right? I'm doing arithmetic on this value that's up here. So I can save that. And now when I come over here and I refresh this page, the text for the button should be twice as big as the text for the paragraph. And you'll see that's exactly what happens. In addition to using multiplication, I could also use addition or subtraction. Whoops, so subtraction is just a single hyphen or I could use a division. So division's like a forward slash. And so if we divided, it would now be twice as small. So that's basically how that's gonna work. Another thing you can do in addition to just modifying like numerical values, I could also modify a color. And this is another common example that you'll see in less. So let's define a base color and we'll just make this a shade of green. So this is a shade of green here that I got off the internet. And let's say that we wanted the button to be the same color as the paragraph, but a little bit lighter. So the button would be like the same kind of type of green, but it would just be like a little bit lighter. Well, we can define the color for the paragraph here. We'll just make it base color. And then what we can do down here is we can come to the button. And again, we want to make this lighter. So I'm going to make the background color, whoops, background color, and we'll make it base color, but I'm going to add 100 to it. And what this is going to do is it's going to it's actually, let's add 200 just to make it more obvious. Um, what this will do is it'll take that base color and it'll lighten it by 200 units. So now when I refresh the page, you'll see that over here we have this like dark green. So this text is, you know, kind of like this dark green color. And then over here on the button, it's a lighter green color. So we're using that same base color, but instead of this being the same color, this is like a little bit lighter. So I could also do something similar, like instead of this color, we can make this like blue or something, or, you know, let's make it red. And then same thing, right? It'll be, that same color scheme, right? We have this dark red, but then over here in the button, it's like a little bit lighter. So that's another way that you can use operators in less. So these operators are, you know, obviously like a small little feature, but they can be really powerful in making your templates work. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.